Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a little while. Um, it's in it, yep, we are having a lot of rain here in LA and uh, I think I think it's gonna be ending in a few hours. So far it's been fine here. I know other places are having problems, so keep them in prayer. California is definitely a, not a very, you know, well-behaved, righteous state. Um, so, we're all living in mercy, really, that we haven't been uh, just wiped out <laughs> when you look at what the governments are doing. Um, but, so, I wanted to mention a few things. Um, one, I'll just start off with, I did hear a report earlier uh, that <clears throat> the U.S. nuclear forces on our, on our, are on high alert and um, there's four U.S. nuclear war command and control planes in the air. This was about 1230, <clears throat> this t uh, California time, where this was going on and where, when I heard it. Um, the U.S. nuclear sniffer planes in the air, the U.S. presidential doomsday planes in the air, and all these at, one, at once. And, you know, that one's responsible, the doomsday is responsible to issue a nuclear launch orders to any nuclear submarine. And, uh, and you know, and so I wanted to just give you some of that because, you know, it, the nuclear, there's been high alerts for quite a while now, although this one was particularly huge. And, uh, and, you know, things are escalating by the minute and things are leading towards this war. And 21-0 America dream I had is connected to what you're seeing now, you know, where God <clears throat> was yelling from, from the heavens as I was looking up at a tall tree. 21-0 America, and um, he just said it over and over again, and said, don't forget this, you're going to need it for later, and it was this terrifying, booming voice. And so, <clears throat> people need to know that this really is going to happen, this is, America is now also getting involved with um, trying to push a two-state solution and create Palestine as a state, which is completely and totally uh, one of the most dangerous things you can do um, with with Yahweh, with God, with the Lord. You know, uh, this is where swift punishment. And look at the timing too. Then you have the <clears throat> the uh, the solar eclipses. The one in two, 2017 on August 21st. I mean, everyone's talking about it. You've, I'm sure you've heard it. But anyway, it crosses over America this way. And then another one crosses uh, this way. That's on April 8th this year. There's actually even a third one from October 2023. It creates a triangle. <clears throat> um and the first one went through seven different cities called Salem. The second, this one on April 8th, is literally passing through eight or nine cities called Nineveh. It's, it's uh, the, the, the X that it's creating is uh, where it crosses is called Little Egypt. And that is no other than just incredibly, amazingly symbolic of the rapture and Moses leading the children of Israel through the Red Sea from Egypt into the promised land. I mean, it's God, if God is marking everything, it's God is marking everything. <clears throat> and, uh, there's even a city in Illinois or Indiana called rapture that the, uh, about a hundred miles outside of little Egypt. I mean, <laughs> You can't make this stuff up, okay? You really can't. I mean, we've said that before, but this one, man, you, you really, this is, and you know, and I've only, 
<clears throat> I've only mentioned this much of the symbolic end time names of cities all over, you know, all over this thing, all over this, this these solar eclipses. But these are the ones that stand out the most as we're watching for the Lord who is going to rescue us from this uh, nuclear war, sudden destruction, 1 Thessalonians 5, 3. And when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them. And the children, as a, as a woman in travail, and the children of light will escape, and the children of darkness will not escape. So I have a question. The question really is, what is the sudden destruction, and what is the peace and safety? Uh, I think the sudden destruction will most likely be the nuclear war, because we've only seen it progress uh, and escalate since 2020 two when it started on February 24th <clears throat> two years ago and that anniversary is coming up in a few days and um, you know God knows what what may happen as a result of that just two year anniversary um, now <clears throat> let me see it there was something yeah there's also uh You know, solar eclipses are always warnings for the Gentiles, whereas blood moons are for Israel. Um, now, I just find this interesting. I don't know that it means <clears throat> something's going to happen, but and a lot of times it's 40 days, you know, like in with Nineveh. Jonah was told, you know, tell Nineveh if they don't repent, I'm going to destroy them, and, 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 and I'm giving you 40 days. But what I'm thinking is, God's already given the solar eclipse seven years ago. This is a different type of warning. This is a seven-year warning. And I just found it interesting to count 40 days back from April 8th. Actually, it takes you to February 28th. And it's possible, you know, I mean, you could have the rapture happen... And then God gives the world 40 days or gives this country 40 days to repent and <clears throat> come to Christ. And um, repent meaning come to Christ, for those of you who are, want to argue about that one. Um, change of mind, metanoia, come to Christ. Um, so if you go from, <clears throat> you know, if... if when the X happens, when it crosses on, on in Little Egypt on April 8th, which is also a new moon, and the beginning of <clears throat> the new Hebrew year, which is also very, some, very significant if we're talking, you know, the seven years um, of Daniel's 70th week. You know, so... Okay, so if we don't know, obviously we don't know, <clears throat> this, this X clearly tells you that America's going to be judged. The question is, <clears throat> is it going to be on that day? Or could it be before? Or obviously will it be after? And we, we don't know. But because it started seven years ago, we could easily expect something to happen before and not after, even before April 8th. And if the rapture were to happen 40 days before, then you have 40 days until destruction comes. And we know from Bible prophecy and also just from my dream itself. This is not a situation because we're in the last days, we're in the last hour. Jesus Christ is coming back. The seven years of tribulation are upon us. I mean, we're we're out of time. <clears throat> and so point being, um 
will the seven will the will it start um will the rapture happen and then basically you would be given 40 days to come to Christ not to avoid the destruction and punishment that's coming to this country <clears throat> now like i said we don't know if it's going to actually hit on April 8th but it could and if the rapture happened 40 days before that it would be a good way to wake people up and hopefully many more would come to Christ before destruction hits cuz i would like to see something like that happen i'd like i'd like to see cuz listen not a lot of people know about this eclipse i mean if you act if you ask someone who's not watching for anything and doesn't know the lord most people probably don't know probably 99% of the population just doesn't even know anything about it. And, of course, the elite's not going to want to advertise it either because it's a sign from God. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So, um, let me see if... There's also a comet called <clears throat> The Devil's Comet, uh, 12P Ponds Brooks, and it's coming as well um, in March. The devil. Is the devil going to be cast down in March? Or on April 8th? I mean, the devil comet coming? I mean, come, yeah, again, you can't make this stuff up because this is what is about to happen. So, when you, when, you know, when you look at the, the nuclear stuff going on above you right now is just unbelievable it's just it's just unbelievable if if you know if you didn't think if you thought all this could happen for nothing to happen you you're asleep I mean, that's just if this doesn't wake you up i, I don't know what, i don't know what could wake anyone up and most people don't even know about the nuclear stuff going on over their head. They don't even know. Because once again, our government doesn't tell people stuff. I remember several years ago, Russia had a, a drill. They had, they had like millions of people. I don't know. I, I think it was like 40 million people uh, uh, having a drill to go into bunkers. America's just, we have nothing. They don't tell the people anything. It's, it's absolutely unbelievable. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm going to close with that. And uh, I did, I, I, I'll tell you about it later, but I did have an interesting experience uh, the other day with myself. Felt like I had an encounter with an angel. And I, I actually did make a video about it, but it didn't work out. And I, I would have loaded it if it had worked out. But, um, but part of the message was to expect the Lord anytime, not, not, don't just look at feast days, because it's probably not coming on a feast day, uh, one of the seven, uh, but, but I'll, I'll, I'll um, tell you about that next time. And anyway, so, um, come to Christ if you haven't, believe that he's the son of God, First Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. He came to the earth in the flesh. He died on the cross, crucified. Brutally tortured. Died, was buried, and rose on the third day. Shed his blood for your sins and mine. And uh, the blood of Jesus Christ wipes out your sin and washes you clean as snow. The Bible says that he made... Uh, he. He redeemed us from sin. He vindicated you from the penalties of sin. <clears throat> and uh, and Israel is going to go back to back to the law after the rapture. And and those those red heifers that Israel is getting ready to sacrifice. That is a miracle that they found them. That they have them because they have to be perfect, spotless. <clears throat> and. Uh, that's a whole other subject, but it is interesting that it's symbolic that they're red, the blood of Jesus Christ. 
and uh, in, in, anyway, there, there, Israel is still in the Old Testament, thinking they need to do this to to build their third temple, but it's coming so fast. It's just one more indication because all this is is going to go down in March and April. I mean, everything's pointing to March and April. I, I can't see how, I mean, if you look at all of these things, it's pointing to the, the new season starting of the third temple, the red heifers and Daniel's 70th week. And we are out of here before all of that kicks in. So anyway, God bless you guys. And I will see you soon. Okay.